All right, congratulations on signing up to use Everbee email. This here is a very, very powerful tool because we're going to be able to reach out to our customers and we're going to be able to do it in a way that allows them to know that we're there to help support them, but also it's going to encourage them to join our email list and it's going to also encourage them to leave us a review. Now, I'm gonna walk you through the campaign that is automatically set up from day one, but I'm also going to show you how to modify it and how to edit it so this way here, you can put it in your own words and your own voice. So let's dig in. So here is inside of Everbee email. This is what you'll see once you have signed up. So you're gonna see up at the very top, we have the dashboard, we have campaigns, we have subscribers, and we have settings. The very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go into campaigns. And in here, you're going to see these are already built in. So in order to edit these, the first thing we're going to do is just click on this one here. So order confirmation. And then what we're going to do is go here to where it says edit. And then now what we can do is we can edit all of the things inside of this email. Now, this is something that you're not going to touch because it's going to be based on the event inside of your Etsy shop, so order confirmation. So when someone orders, this is the confirmation email. And basically, this is the subject line that they are going to see when they receive the email. So it says order confirmation, thank you for choosing, and then it will be your shop name. And then here, this is a preview. So this preview will be something that they see before they click into the email. And I just leave this alone. So just right from the get-go, you're just going to leave that and not touch anything there. Then down here, this is where you're going to modify this and write the email coming from you. So I wrote this email for one of our students and I figured I would go ahead and use it so you can see how you could write an email to your customer, your new customer. So it says, hey there, it's Ty, the lady behind Rockin' Wood USA Etsy shop who's a little obsessed with rustic wood, smiley face. I wanted to let you know we received your order and it's being processed as we speak. Thank you for allowing us, me and my family, the opportunity to bring a bit of our love for rustic reclaimed wood into your life. Your order is now being prepared and will be delivered as soon as possible. And then down here, you can see where it says, join our VIP rustic wood club. Now, you may just have there where it says, join our email list. I think that's boring. I think that you need to give them a better reason. And for me, I always use a VIP club because everyone likes to be part of a club and it lets them know you're gonna be sending them exclusive, as it says right here, get early access to new products, exclusive discounts, and more by subscribing to our VIP email list. Click the subscribe button below to join. And then I just customize this where it says, yes, I wanna join. Now I'm gonna show you how to customize this here in a second, but I'm just gonna take you through the email. We put our heart and soul into every item we create and we're confident you'll be happy with your purchase. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to us by replying to this email or send us an Etsy message. Thanks again, Ty. And that's it, all right? And then this is all going to be pulled in here from your settings. So it'll have your shop address, it'll also have your mailing address and things like that. So you wanna make sure that that's all filled out in your settings. All right, so how do you edit? Well, if I go in here, I just click on that box and you're going to see we have delete. We have here where we can go ahead and duplicate this if I want to duplicate this box. And then here I can drag it around. Uh, this over here gives me options for the text itself so I can bold something. I can make it italic. Uh, I can underline it. I can also add a link. And then this here are certain commands that I can put in there, but we're not going to get into that because it's not necessary right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to edit this email. Now, as you notice, if I hover over each one of these elements, it's a block. And every block has its own set of controls or commands. So if I click on this one, you can see everything kind of comes down to it. And now I can delete that box, I can duplicate it, or I can drag it around, I can modify the text. So if I didn't want this to be italic, I could just highlight it, and then I could go ahead and say, uh, I wanna make it normal, or I wanna bold it. So that's as simple as that is, all right? So I'm gonna leave that. Now here I have this text where it's centered and you can put this over to the left, you can put it over to the right or you can leave it centered. I can also change the text color here. I can make it where it's large 
or I can make it where it's medium is where I have it. So that's how you customize these different blocks. Here's the button. So if I click on the button, I can change the color. I can change the text color, the section background of it. I can change the button text. So here I have, yes, I want to join, but I could change that to where it says subscribe now or uh, join our club. I can do whatever I want with this text and it will reflect right here. And this here, where it says button link, this here is going to stay. This is where it's going to allow them to subscribe by clicking that button. So we wanna make sure that we leave that alone. And that's it as far as editing. So again, if I go here, I click on that, now I'm in this editing window, I have my controls here and I have my controls here. Now, once you're happy with everything, you're gonna go here and you're gonna either save it as a draft or you're going to activate it. And when we activate it, that makes it live. So now if I go back here to campaigns, you're going to see order confirmation, it's turned on. Now I can turn these off, I can just go here and here and here and maybe you're just going to use these first two. All right, that's totally up to you. I recommend turning them all on because then we get four chances for people to subscribe and four chances for people to leave a review. All right, so I'm gonna leave these all on and I recommend that you do the same. So you're gonna wanna go through each and every one of these and you're going to want to customize them to you and your Etsy shop. So that's the very first thing that you wanna do. Now, the other thing that I recommend doing is creating a welcome campaign. And this welcome campaign is going to be the email that someone would get after they subscribe. And then that's going to welcome them. It's also going to acknowledge that they just subscribed to your VIP list. So what you would do here is you would do the same thing. You would click on this and you would go in and start editing. Once you're in here now, we have some other additional settings. So in here, it's gonna go to only subscribers, so people that actually subscribe are going to get this. And then from here, I can say, I want this to go out one day after they subscribe, okay? Which I usually recommend. So as soon as they subscribe, you might not wanna send that out immediately, you might wanna give it a day. And then what's going to happen is, this is going to be in their subject line. So it's gonna say, hey, first name, welcome to, and then your shop. And then here, if you want this to be here, now you can take this and you can delete it and then nothing will be displayed in the preview. That's totally up to you, but it comes in this template with it already put in there, your exclusive discount inside. So if you wanna give a discount, this is where then you would put that in that preview. And then down here, you can see we're absolutely thrilled to have you on board. Thank you for subscribing to, and then your shop name, and then family, right? So maybe it's thank you for subscribing to Rustic Wood Lovers Family, and that would be it. And then every piece is crafted with love, passion, and an immense amount of dedication in ensuring that you get nothing but the best. Check out some of our best-selling products. Now, this is another feature that's built into Everbe email. And I can click on this right here, and I can now say I wanna show three products, four products, all right, five products, six products, and it will just keep adding the products. And then I can click here and I can select what items I want to be displayed. So best selling listings, featured listings, or newest listings. Maybe it's gonna be featured. So I'd put that there. And then I personally would go no more than two. I would only wanna show two. And the reason why is because if you add a whole bunch of products, it can tend to seem like a promotional email and that could get flagged by the spam traps in the email providers and your email won't be delivered in their inbox. So I would limit that to two. And then what it will do is it'll pull in these products from your Etsy shop, which is really, really cool. All right, and then we can play around with the color of the title color and the price color. Like we can do all of that stuff. So you can go ahead and play around with that if you choose to. But that's how you do this for a welcome email. And this will be an automated email that will go out only if they subscribe to your email list. Once you're happy with this, you're gonna go ahead and click activate. And then you're gonna see right here that it is live. Now, if we wanna turn this off, we can just click here and then it will go to inactive or we just click it there and we go back to active. And you can see this is a auto campaign. So that means that when someone subscribes, they're gonna automatically get it, just like this right here. So now let's say that you have subscribers and you wanna send them a one-off email. 
I'm gonna show you how to write that next. So all you do is go here to where it says new campaign, and then you can either pick one of these templates to get started from, or you can just click here, start from scratch. Now this is a single campaign. This is not an auto campaign. So you can create another auto campaign where you would have people go through another sequence, but we're not gonna do that right now. What we're going to do is just send this single campaign. So then we would click here and we would start from scratch. So here's an email I wrote for a giveaway that we were doing as an update. So I wanted to let everyone know that was a subscriber about our giveaway and I wanted to send them an update. So here was the subject line. So again, we can make this anything we want. I had rustic wood giveaway update and then I didn't put anything in the preview. I generally typically don't, but you can. It's there if you wanna use that. And then here, I wrote the email in this block and then from here, I created this button. So if you wanna add a button, all you do is just click on that and then you can add a button right there. So if I wanna change the button color, I just click here and then I can either drag this around or I can click in here and then I can start to bring this around where I wanna change the color if I want to. Uh, or I can just go into one of these that's already pre-created and I'm just gonna choose that because that's what I had. Then here I changed the button text to get more entries and then I have my link that I want it to go to and then I made that a small button. I can make it a large button. And then from there, that's it on the button. Let's just move on to this block. And then I just customized this. I added a little PS there and that is it. And then when you're totally happy with it, just go ahead and either save it as a draft. You can send yourself a test email or click send. And then it will ask you one more time, are you ready for blast off? Because, well, it wants to make sure that you are 100% sure that you didn't miss something. And then I can either cancel it or I can click send. And then it will go out to everyone that is a subscriber. So there is the basic setup. Once you get your Everbee email account open, you're going to wanna make sure that you customize those welcome emails and you're gonna wanna make sure that you create that first welcome message to your subscribers. Those are the most important things to do right in the beginning because as soon as you have a customer, you're going to be able to send these emails automatically and it's going to be working in the background. So the homework for you is to get this all set up, get it all turned on and wait for those subscribers to start coming in. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next.